Alright, let's look at these questions. Determine the focal length of a convex lens that projects the image of a lamp magnified four times onto a screen 3.05 meter from the lamp. Okay, this is a very good question because in only one sentence, it compress there are so many, it contains so many keywords. Yeah? In just one sentence, it contains so many keywords that will reveal a lot of things about uh, this uh, about the, 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 the things he asked. Yeah? He revealed a lot of things. So let us look one by one. First of all, the question asks for focal length. Okay? Ask for focal length, that means you need to find the value of f. And then secondly, he's, uh, he says about convex lens. This is using a convex lens. It means that it is a converging lens. The fat guy. Remember the fat guy? It can only focus a light. It converge a light. The fat guy always is a converging lens. Focus a light. So we can, first thing we know, uh, converging, converging lens must have f positive. Convex lens, f positive. So uh, the question asks you to determine the focal length. Uh, so surely in the end, the focal length, this answer will be in positive value. First thing I know, this f must be positive value. Okay? Just wait and see. That projects the image of a lamb. Okay, this lamb is the object. Okay, we can say this lamb is the object. Okay, projects the image of the lamb magnified four times. Uh, another thing about magnified four times. So this is a magnified image. It's not a diminished image, but it's a magnified image. Not diminished, it's not same size, but magnified four times. Magnified four times, what I can say is uh, the value of the magnification is uh, 4. Uh, this magnify, it can be uh, positive or negative. I'm not sure it's whether positive or negative. So uh, just put modulus m is 4. Yeah? That's all. Later on, we will see whether it's positive 4 or negative 4. Because it, positive 4 means it's upright. Negative 4 means it's third. Okay? And then onto a screen. Ah, he say this image, image is formed on screen. Ah, this is very important. This image can form on screen. Ah, so that means uh, it reveals that this image uh, can form, is already formed on screen. Ah, it's formed on screen. So image, what, what kind of image can form on screen? Of course, it's the real image. Uh, it's a real image. So for real image, uh, we the first thing we know, real image, the V is positive value. The V must be positive value. Yeah. Another thing is real image must be inverted. Uh, still remember the R I V U, uh, revu. Uh, the 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 revu. Still remember revu. Uh, now we are in uh, we are in this one. Huh? Re, we are in re, okay? Because we know that this image is a real image because it can form on screen. They say he the, the he formed the, he projects the image of the lamp on the screen. So this image is formed on screen. Then form on screen. So uh, this is a real image. Real image must be inverted. Real image must be inverted. So inverted that means. If inverted means uh, the magnification must be negative value. Just now we're talking about the value of magnification is 4. But we're not sure it's positive or negative. Now I can tell you that uh, it's an uh, inverted image. Inverted image means the magnification is negative value. Uh, magnification is negative value. So the magnification is, it says that magnification, magnified. Magnified. So magnification is negative 4. Inverted but magnified. So it's negative 4. Yeah? Okay? Negative means inverted. Understand? Alright. Uh, okay. And then uh, 3.05 meter from the lamp. So what is it mean by this uh, 3.05 meter from the lamp? Who is, who is 3.05 meter from the lamp? The lamp is the the lamp is the object. 
who is 3.05 meter away from the object. The image lah. Uh, he says that uh, this image is formed on screen. This screen, actually, it is the screen that is 3.05 meter away from the lamp, from the object. So what is formed on screen? The image. Uh, so we can say, we can say, the screen represents the image. Ah, uh, not the image. Uh, like this one, uh. yeah. This is the screen. Yeah, this is the screen. This is the screen. The image is formed on screen. The real image. It's a, it's a real image, formed on screen. So, uh, he said the screen, screen is a uh, three point zero five meter away from the lamp. That means he's, he's saying that the image is now formed on screen. That means the image is same position as the screen. Uh, in other words, is he's saying that the image is 3.05 meter away from the object. So 3.05 meter is the distance between object and image. Is that not? Uh, between, the, between the object and the image. Uh, the distance between them is uh, 3.05 meter away. Okay? Between the object and the image. Uh, the three, uh, between the object and the image, the image is uh, formed on the screen. Okay? The image is formed on the screen. Uh, so, uh, 3.05 meter is the distance between the object and the image. Okay, which form on screen. Okay, this distance is the distance between object and image. So now, we've got so many things in one sentence only. So let us uh, maybe draw out the, what, what's really happening. So first of all, I have a convex lens. Convex lens. Um, uh, from, the, from here, the keyword, we can see what kind of image is formed, the characteristics of image. It is, since it's formed on screen, it is a real image. First thing we know, it is a real image. It is an inverted image. Real must be inverted. And then he say it's magnified four times. So it's a magnified image. Real inverted magnified. RIM. RIM. Uh, RIM. So still remember the acronym RIM? Uh, RIM. Uh, this one. Eh, no, no. This one, this one. The fat guy. Uh, RIM. RIM is over here. Uh, this is the image RIM. Uh, RIM. So where's the object? Uh, yeah, image tree and object tree, uh, rim. So where is the object? My question is, where is the object in order to have the rim? The object must be between focal length and the center curvature. Uh, it must be between focal length and center curvature. So remember this one, the acronyms? The nearer the object, the object approaching the lens, the image becomes further and further away until in the end become virtual. So in order to have real inverted magnified image, the object uh, must be between the focal length and the center curvature. So I remember the acronym. I can know where is the object. It is uh, this one. U must be between uh, focal length and center curvature. I can write like that. Yeah, I can also write like this. The U must be bigger than the focal length or less than the radius of curvature object distance to have the rim huh? to have the have this rim yeah have this rim uh, the object need to be in the focal point and the, so that means it must the object distance must be between focal length and the between the focal length focal point and the center curvature huh? more bigger than the focal point less than the radius of curvature or more than focal point less than 2f so uh, that's how we draw so that's how i draw uh, so that's how i draw i know the object is uh, between focal length and center curvature don't draw wrongly don't draw wrongly uh, because it's a rim okay this is a real inverted magnified image so the object need to be more than focal length less than the 2f so you know uh, this is uh, this is F from here to here is F from here to here is 2F uh, so the object 
is uh, in between you know the object is uh, in between uh, you know object must be less than 2f more than f okay so is the object is over here and the image is uh, formed more than more than 2f yeah away rim over here okay so let's grab off this uh, or the others okay um so this is the uh picture i got yeah in my brain so uh the image is formed on the screen it is a real inverted magnified it's bigger bigger than the object bigger four times but third real image because it can form on the screen image actually same position as the screen okay so what is the just now the 3.05 meter is between the image and the object so that means um uh, this is from object uh, this is uh, what, what i can say is this is the object yeah okay this is the object and this is the image this is the object this is the image so 3.05 meter is between the object and the image Okay, so object to the lens is object distance u. Yeah, object to the lens is u, and then from the lens to the image is v. So three point zero five meter is u plus v. Understand? U plus v. So we can say u plus v is equal to three point zero five meter. Ah, uh, but why here got modulus? Why got modulus? Because Sometimes V, we have negative value. Sometimes V, uh, we have a positive value. Sometimes we have negative value. So, uh, we, we, don't, if, uh, we don't want to have... Uh, sometimes if uh, we have negative, negative image, okay? If V is negative, we want to make the V become positive. Because it must be positive to uh, plus with U, then only they don't cancel each other. Understand not? We make sure we must make the V become positive before we total up with U, get the 3.05 meter. Then this time the V is positive, so never mind. But uh, try to um, try to put this sign uh, modulus so that it's safe for us. If V is negative, it automatically become positive value, so it's safe to add with U. Okay. Uh, just um just uh, just write the module yeah so uh okay just do okay now you can um uh what you can do is uh ah uh, solve the questions i need to find the focal length so i already have the magnification equal to negative four so i just substitute uh negative four over here equal to negative v over u uh, so negative negative positive so v is equal to four u okay v equal to four u uh, and then, uh, yeah, u plus modulus uh, for u. V is equal to for u. Okay. And then, modulus, uh, this one also positive value. So, just make it positive. Okay, it's already positive. So, modulus can just disappear. So, it becomes 5u equal to uh, 0, 3.05. So, u is equal to 0. Uh, six one meter. Ah, I got the, got the object distance, isn't it? This is the object distance. So what is the image distance? I also can find four times zero point six one. So what's the answer? Okay, what's the answer? Uh, so v will be equal to uh two point four four meter. So that's a v. Uh, so ah, I got the v is a positive value. I got the V is positive value. Well, so what does it mean by positive V? What does it mean by positive V? Uh, so it means it is a real image. It's a real image. Okay, V positive means real image. Yeah, correct. It's a real image. Real inverted magnified image. Uh, so real image. Uh, of course, you draw the incident ray and refracted ray first. Huh? Incident ray come from the object and then refracted ray go to the other side. So where is the image form? Image must form the real image v positive. If v is uh, this v is a positive value, uh, v is positive value means it is same side. Uh, v we compare with who? 
remember V we compare with who? V we compare with refracted ray. If V same side with a refracted ray, then V is positive. Okay, V compare with refracted ray. So now my V, my V is uh my image, my V is uh same side with refracted ray. Same side with refracted ray. So my V is positive. So I get positive value is correct. My image, my image is formed same side as the refracted ray. For it formed at the place with refracted light. Uh, that means, uh, so it can uh, this refracted ray will fall onto the screen to form the real image. Uh, this real image uh, can form on screen because it got light. Got light. The refracted ray uh, goes to the screen. To form real image on the screen yeah so got light so that's why v is positive so okay we already got everything we got to got u and v we can find f i can find f and make sure uh i surely get f is positive value converging huh? let's let's try and see Do we get f positive value so 0 0.6 u is one v is uh positive 2.44 meter so what is my f so my f i get value equal to um what's the f i get f equal to positive uh 0 0.49 0 0.49 meter okay that's good so i got my f is positive value so what does it mean uh, it's a converging f when f is positive it is converging lens. Uh, so proof proven convex lens is a converging lens f positive. So I got it right. F is positive value. Okay, remember. Uh, so how do I uh, done this question so well? It's because I remember the acronym. Huh? Rit rit rim rim boom. I know about the rim. Rim is over here, yeah. For rim, the object distance must be between F and C. Okay, I remember this very well. And also, I know about what to compare object compared with incident ray, image compared with refracted ray. Uh, then, you know, image must be formed. Image must be formed same side as the refracted ray. For real image, must be formed same side as refracted ray. Correct, yeah. So. Remember, always draw this incident ray and refracted ray first. Then you uh, can draw correctly. Okay? So that's all for this question. Thank you for watching and let's move on to the next. Okay?